Hello guys, what is up? Jack here, back for another Minecraft video, and today I will be showing you how to make a Minecraft mod pack. I hope you guys enjoy. a mod pack because a lot of you know that are actually subscribers that I made a mod pack it was called Jack Pack Modded Survival me and my uh, cousin CJ did a whole series on it and it was really fun but a lot of people wanted to know how to make their own mod pack so I thought I would show it in this video today and it is actually quite simple it'll probably take five or six minutes hopefully so let me just get right into this so first things first you're gonna create a brand new folder and let's just call it a uh, mod pack but I already have one called that for my other mod pack so you guys call it mod pack I'll just call mine mod pack tutorial so you can really call it whatever you want this is just to organize all your files so uh, right now we're going to go in here and create two new files actually two new little folders and one of them is going to be called bin just like that and then the other one is going to be called mods so let's just get that mods no uppercases or no spaces or anything like that just like the, I have right here bin and mods so now that we have that out of the way we're going to need to download minecraft forge so we got to go to files.minecraftforge.net and once we get in here we are going to go to the latest version of minecraft that you can get the mods for so right now i'm doing it for 1.7.10 but this should work for any future version of minecraft that forges out for and that you know mods are working for so we're going to use the 1.7.10 recommended version and uh instead of downloading the installer like i normally do in tutorials in this video we're going to need the universal version so let's see add fly pops up um i gotta type this in i think that says uh, uh, e A T, uh, E out. I hope. Uh, let's just see. I think it's just making sure I'm human. Uh, about to be read to stay on this page. Is, is something going wrong here? Let me try reloading this page. Let me see if I can get Adfly to work. Adfly sometimes does not work well. Here we go. It's working good for me. I just had to refresh the page. Sorry, something was going wrong. All right, yeah, we have to wait the five seconds and then we have to hit skip add. So now we're going to get this little thing up down in the bottom left. It's a warning if you're using Google Chrome. It just says it can file your computer, but um, it will not harm your computer. It's not a virus. This is Forge. It is everything, and this is legit. I actually have uh, a vast, I believe, is my security system, and everything on here says is okay. So we're just going to hit keep if you're worried about it. I mean, you don't really have to install it if you don't want to, but then you wouldn't be able to create the mod pack. So this is perfectly fine for me. I will show you guys that this worked for me so you guys don't uh, get cold feet and actually back out of it. So once we get that, now we need to open up the uh, Minecraft mod pack uh, tutorial folder or whatever tor uh, folder you put it in and we're gonna need to open up the bin file and then we're going to drag that bad boy in there and now we don't need google chrome anymore so now i'm just going to drag this over here that's where i like it and then we need to rename it to mod pack now this is uh what you have to do you can't name it anything else it has to be named mod pack that's just uh for technical launcher they look for this it says mod pack and that's actually how it works so once you name that mod pack you are good to go with minecraft forge but now we're going to need to add our mods so let me just get out the mods that i want to use uh, you could probably down them all offline and then also guys you might have to test with uh, different mods you don't know if they're actually going to work so some mods might give you errors because uh, their compatibility might be different so you're just gonna have to mess around with it a little bit uh, if you do have errors you can put it in the comment section down below but uh, I'm not gonna be able to help with everything it's probably best if you have an error to contact the mod creator so I'm just going to get some mods that I already have pre downloaded that I actually used in my most recent mod showcase I'm gonna be using Pandora's box Optifine and damage indicators so I'm just going to copy and paste them in the mods folder but you can download them offline and all you gotta do is just just drag the uh, the jar files into here and then you just need to drag the mods into the mods folder obviously so whatever mods you want to add to the mod pack they go in there all right so now that we have all this set up we need to make this a conjoined file so we're going to go on here and I'm using Winwar right now uh, I would definitely suggest that or if you know how to use like 7-zip or any other archiving program definitely be sure to download one of them uh, here we have Winwar so we're going to need to add it to an archive and uh, it'll pop up right here we're just going to make it a zip and uh, for you guys it should just say minecraft.zip so I'm just gonna make that what uh, it's gonna say for me so we're gonna have this brand new thing called mod pack 
Now, this is all done right here. You are going to need to save this for later though, so don't go deleting anything. That is your actual mod pack. So we're just gonna keep this right in the center here where it's nice and important. And now we're going to need to go on a brand new site called Dropbox. Now this is where we're going to actually upload that uh, file that we just made. So let's go to Dropbox. Uh, if you don't have a Dropbox account, it's really easy to make. You just got to put in an email address and it should give you an account. And then it, this is all you should see right here. Uh, I don't know even if you'll see camera uploads, but you should see a public folder and it actually should give you a tutorial if you uh, never used it before. So you need to navigate your way to this public folder and open it up. And now this folder should be empty. There might be a one file in there if you never used it before. But uh, what you're going to do is right click and hit upload. Now we're going to hit choose files and we're going to go to the desktop because that's where we saved the file and we're going to need to navigate to the folder here we go mod pack tutorial or mod pack whatever you named it and now we're going to need to open up mod pack and hit open and it should start downloading now i don't have a lot of mods so it should just only take a few seconds for me but if you have you know 50 mods like i had for my jackpack modded survival it does take quite a while to upload it so now that you have it in here, make sure that you highlight it just like this and all these options will pop up. Now you're going to hit copy public link, copy to the clipboard, and now we can actually go and upload it. So we're going to need to go to technicpack.net. So let me just get that. I have a lot of preloaded stuff. Technicpack.net. Here we go. And it should bring you to this page. Now you are going to need to sign in. So yeah, just make sure you make an account on here as well as you did on Dropbox if you didn't already have one. And yeah, you're going to need to make an account on here to actually upload a mod pack. So it's really easy. Same thing. Just, up, uh, just have a valid email address and you should be good to go. So once you logged in and everything is good, get it to this homepage and you're going to need to scroll over mod packs and then go all the way down to create a mod pack. This is where you can create the mod pack. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna ASDF for right now because it's tutorial. And then you need to select the Minecraft version. Now this is really important because this is actually uh, what Technic is going to download what version of Minecraft it is. So they're gonna download it directly from Minecraft. So the Forge version I used was 1.7.10. So that's going to correlate to what you put here. And I'm just gonna make it a hidden pack for right now so nobody else can use it. Um, if you're trying to make like an open uh, public mod pack, you can uh, you know, not make it hidden. Uh, but if you do make it a public mod pack, make sure that you have permission from all of the different mod creators. Cause I mean, there is the chance that your mod pack could go big if you spend a lot of time on it and uh, you have to make sure that it doesn't get taken down for stupid reasons that you didn't have permission from the mod pack uh, from the mod creators so yeah if you just want to create it for your friends I definitely suggest making it a hidden pack and sending them a private link but now we're also gonna need a description where you can describe your mod pack and then you need to agree to the terms and conditions let me just make this a lot of this just in case the mod pack was already taken and now we're going to create the mod pack so this should take a few seconds and here we have our brand new mod pack but we can still not play it yet we just need to have one more thing we have to go over here to edit and we have to upload the thing that we copied in here remember we went over here and copied the public link and now we need to post that right here in the mod pack location just uh, control v or you can right click and just paste it in there and now we should be okay. All right, and after you're done all that, we're going to scroll down and hit save mod pack. And now you should be good to go. So now it says uh, pack successfully saved. You can just click on your mod pack right here and then you're going to copy the uh, platform URL. Just hit this and it'll copy it to your keyboard. And now we're going to minimize this and go over here to Technic Launcher. You actually don't need this folder anymore. So I'm just gonna delete that. And now we just need to wait for this to load up. Uh, here I have my Jackpack Mod Survival. I created like a custom uh, picture for that. But you're going to scroll up to Add New Mod Pack. And this is where you're going to paste the URL in here. And we're just going to wait for that. Here we go and hit Add Mod Pack. And then this might actually take a little bit to load up. So let's just give it some time and I'll tell you guys when it's all ready and done. Okay, so once it is loaded, you will have to scroll to it. So you're gonna have to keep looking through all these preloaded mod packs that they already have on here. And you should see yours right here. And uh, see ASTF, whatever it was called, that's where you will see it. And then you just have to scroll over it and hit play. So this does take a while to download because it has to download uh, the Minecraft version and also has to download all the mods and stuff and the config files. So this could take some time. So I will see you guys when it is fully installed. All right, so everything loaded up just fine. I'm just gonna turn off the music because I already have background music. 
and uh, we should have a few mods loaded. Uh, we're going to go into single player and create a brand new world and see if our mods are actually in there. So let's just load up a brand new world here. And here we are in the world. We got cows and chickens everywhere. So yeah, I believe I downloaded damage indicators. As you can see, that's on there. And I also downloaded a mod called Pandora's Box. So yeah, that's on here as well. So obviously, as you can see, everything worked just fine. I'm going to try and test out the Pandora's box, and then I will wrap up this video. So let's see. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Oh, arrows, arrows, jeez. All right, well, I think that's a good way to wrap up this little tutorial. You got like a little sneak peek at the Pandora's box mod. If you haven't checked out my uh, macho case on it, and you're kind of curious, uh, make sure to go check that out, and make sure to also go pound the like button if you did enjoy this video and if you were successful in creating your mod pack. Also, feel free to post any uh, suggestions you have for future tutorials, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and this video helped you out. But yeah, guys, that's really it. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.